Welcome back to this channel. I know you all know my problems with Roman Reigns. First, me, uh, Orton, and Batista fought him, Rollins, and Ambrose in that insane six-man match way back. Now he wants to fight me again. But I have an ace on my script. No, hold on a minute, Triple H. Before you say anything, I have to be here for my loyal fans. No, please. Please don't show up. Well, it's too late. It is me, it's me, the big dog, the Roman Reigns, right here. And now I still want to get my revenge. Roman, I thought you already got your revenge. That was over a year ago. What type of revenge do you want? I don't know. I just want to, I just don't like you. Now, I'm here. I am here to, well... I guess review. So what are we reviewing? Well, we're reviewing another X-Men movie. Is it X-Men Origins? No! We will review that at some point, but it's not that. Is it Logan? No. Is it Deadpool? We did Deadpool. What is it? It's a, it is a Wolverine movie, but it's... The Wolverine. A.K.A. Wolverine in Japan. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. How do you not know? This movie didn't make a bit of money. A lot of people saw it, including me. Well, at least I can say it is better than X-Men Origins. Is it? Of course it is. I'm about to review it right now, so let's, let's get started. Wait, Roman. I have a great idea. I'm going to send out Five guys, for these next five reviews, for you to fight, and and so you can show off everyone your skills. Well, that's fine with me. Who are the five guys? You'll see. And the first opponent will be out here after this review is over. All right, Roman, you better get prepared because you're about to be in some matches. Hello, people at YouTube. It is I once again right here, the Malik Aaron Aaron, and I, and I just found out I got some new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing, and make sure to hit that like button. Now, today's review is going to be a Wolverine movie. Uh, uh, how do I say this about this? Not exactly the Wolverine movie. That we really wanted, but the Wolverine movie that we got. That was the Wolverine. And it stars the one only, the only Wolverine out there, Hugh Jackman. And this is the second Wolverine movie after the notoriously bad X Men Origins Wolverine, and which Jackman himself really dislikes, as he said. He wanted to make a, a Wolverine movie that deepens the character. Instead, he, it was basically X-Men 4 with different people. So this movie is actually a chronological... Chronologically... Well, the whole chronological thing of the X-Men is so screwed up. But before all the the, re, the time set reboot that was Days of Future Path, this took place... After the last stand, and I know what you're thinking, shouldn't you review the last stand before this? The last stand review is coming, don't worry. So, this takes place after X Men 3. And it starts with like Lo with uh, Logan just around in the woods, pretty much being a hobo. Uh, he sees some guys, I think he shot like a bear or a wolf. I think, yeah, it was a bear. And then Wolverine being the animal, animal, he really is, uh, wants to confront these dudes. But then he's stopped by uh, a redhead uh, Japanese woman. I forgot her name. I'm so sorry. Um, And she sent, uh, she went there to get Logan because Logan was sent to go to Japan. To meet like a guy he saved like I think during World War 
too. Yeah, Wolverine's been around a long time. He gets to these wild, crazy situations. He saved the dude from like a nuclear explosion. Like he just put like, a piece of metal on him and the Wolverine took the full force of the impact. And so he wants to see him again since he's all he's gonna die. So they he goes over them, you get a pretty well and when I saw this with an audience, it's had a pretty funny moment where he's trying to get used to the customs of Japan. They're trying to clean them up, wash them up. Cause he did look like a hobo. Um he meets the dude. And uh, the old man tells Logan, like, he knows that Logan doesn't like his immortality. And he wants to get rid of the immortality. But Logan's just like, forget it, I'm not giving it to you. But then you have another, uh, one of our villains. Um, I think her name is Viper. She's around, and then she actually poisons Logan to where his... His uh, healing factor doesn't work properly. So he has to deal with that. And also, a whole bunch of other stuff. He has to, uh, I guess, protect this uh, other Japanese girl. Who I forget their names. I'm so sorry about that. He has to protect her, I guess, from her brother. And his clan of, like, assassins, I think. Yeah, that's... And then some other stuff. Then he has to fight the Silver Samurai, which everybody hated. So this movie, I will. It, everyone can agree it's better than X Men Origins by a long shot. The CGI looks better. The story is better. There's no really messed up characters except for Silver Samurai. There's a lot of people. No, I don't know the Silver Samurai character, so I have no relationship with that. So the action's a lot cleaner than uh origins i mean it's and the claws look a lot better do not look as fake as that movie and uh you see wolverine well he doesn't quite go into berserker mode well he does but not in the way in logan but he does pretty decently he has a insane fight on a train with all these ninjas and he's just jumping around the train and slicing dudes it was fantastic uh, then, uh, he has to go all these moments since he doesn't have his healing factor anymore, at least for the moment. And, uh, uh, it turns out, like, it was what Viper put in him was, like, a little, it was, like, a little, like, I don't know how to say it, like, a little robotic, um, I guess you could say pest or insect where that was like in Logan Logan's um one of his um on his heart and so he literally had to cut his chest open and take the thing out and it was pretty graphic especially for an X-Men movie at the time uh the character is Hugh Jackman is always as great as Wolverine no one will ever top him uh, the, the redhead Japanese girl that accompanies him, she's pretty good. Um, the one, that, the Japanese girl that Logan's trying to protect, she's not as bad as most damsel in distresses, but she's still not all that great. The man, old dude, I mean, he's there, but till you find out that he... This is Silver Samurai, and everyone was just like, what? Boo, forget that. And it was just kind of dumb. And it kind of almost ruined the whole movie. Viper was just kind of a bland villain. And also, we get Jean, Bonke Jensen. She returned as Jean, and she's basically a hallucination of Logan. Like... She just she's just around telling him about things, reminding him of the of how X three ended, <laughs> and it was cool to see her back, but it still felt a bit unnecessary. See, the movie started out really good. It didn't start out like a typical X Men movie, but then after a while, it did, and it just got really just ugh, not all that great. 
The funny thing is, this was actually supposed to be made by Darren Aronofsky, and I'm going to be reviewing one of his movies this week, Black Swan. He also did, like, Noah, and Recommend for a Dream, and The Wrestler, and whatnot. He was supposed to make this, but he couldn't because of scheduling conflicts and whatnot. It would have been interesting to see his vision on what this movie would have been, but considering what would have been, like, if he was given a chance to do his Batman Year One movie, I would probably say no to him. So, yeah, and also the post credit scene, one of the best post credit scenes of all time. Uh, Logan's going back, you know, to the States and whatnot. And, like, you see, it's like, you see these little commercials for Trask Industries, a.k.a. the villain from Days of Future Past. And then he sees, like, metal floating up. And then you see Magneto, Ian McKellen, and you just thought, oh my goodness, this is gonna be good. And then an even more shocking twist, you see Professor X, Patrick Stewart there. And everyone was just like, how is this possible? You were straight up vaporized in the last stand. And then all he, all uh, Professor X says is that you're not the only one with gifts. Some people s speculate that he like, his mind went into another person's body. Like he has like a twin brother or something. I don't know if that's true. But I mean, it would be the best explanation. Yes, and as, this movie was basically a way to get people hyped for Days of Future Past. And I thought I did a pretty good job at it. It has some great moments, has some stupid moments. But it's still far superior in Origins. And the second best Wolverine movie, you should all know what number one is. So I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. It's not the greatest, but it's still good. It also has an awesome looking poster. I used to have that poster. I hung it on my wall. It's sick in the way they showed. I mean, it just showed this was going to be a different X-Men movie. And you should know, it's like the one where he's like this, and it's all in black and white. It just looks epic. So, yeah. Yeah, that's the Wolverine. It's pretty good, I guess. And uh, now, let's get to who Roman Reigns is facing first, and this somewhat gauntlet of a series so we're gonna get to that right now all right who am i facing better be somebody decent it will be drum roll please dolph ziggler really he's a chump i'm not a chump my name is dolph ziggler i'm a former world champion Multi-time Intercontinental Champion, Mr. Money in the Bank. And I'm the show off. Because I'm here to show the world that I'm the best. No, you're here to show the world that you're a Shawn Michaels wannabe. That's it. Ring that bell. All right, ring it, ding, 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 ding. Let's go. Oh. Well, that was a fail, dog. Yeah, now you're going to pay. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Goodness. And what's he doing now? Oh my gosh. Way to sell, doll. Oversell that. Oh. Suplex City, I guess. And now what? Superman kick. Oh. Now, a throw in the bar. Oh my gosh. Oh, man, Dolph's getting zero offense. Yep, that's how it should be. Oh. All right, cover. One, two, oh, it's not over yet. Ugh, this, this is so boring. Oh, not like that. Oh. Now I'm going to go for a spear from all the way back here. Ugh, I gotta do something. Here I come. Roll. Like, move me before he does something. 
fine. We can't have this be a complete squash. Oh, 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 elbow drop. Oh, spinning elbow drop, spinning and a flying elbow drop. Yeah, I'm Dolph Ziggler because I'm here to show the world. Oh, I don't even know what that was, but okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, nice kick. Yeah, now he's gonna get a... A little something amazing. Oh. Oh, well he's kind of stuck there. You can't really do anything with him like that. You know what? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna face first in the... Pose, ring pose. Now he's gonna. What the? Oh! That's it. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. Now he's gonna get a throw. Oh! He reversed it. Yet, yeah, and now. Yeah, just get this right here. Oh, whoa. It's interesting neck breaker. And now he's gonna get a, I guess a famouser. I guess. Oh. One, two, all kick out. How does he kick out? Well, he's Roman Reigns. What do you expect? He kicked out of brass knuckles. You know what? Gonna get a zigzag. Oh, jeez. Oh, you put too much momentum in that doll. Now I'm gonna give him a splash. Yo! And now he's gonna fly right up in the air. Oh my goodness. Oh. And now suplex. Oh. And now I'm gonna put him right here. Uh. Right, sister, so give him a smell punch. Oh, jeez. No, I gotta stop this. One, two, a triple H. You can't be interfering. There's no rules, dummy. No, no. Oh. Uh, uh, what the heck, man? Thought this was one on one. Well, it's not anymore. Ow. Ziggler, you're such a botch monkey. No wonder you were never given a real world title reign. Shut up! That's so mean! Oh! Zigzag, zigzag, going for cover. Ugh. That was very fun. One, two, whoop. Oh, he picked him up. It's amazing. Oh. And now, what are you gonna do, Triple H? Oh. What's he going to do, Dolph? Oh! Threw him right into Triple H. Eh. Eh. You're not going to win. I refuse to let you win. Well, that's just too bad. Going to spear you right through your rib cage. Oh! I don't know what that really was. No, I'm just going to fly. And see. You know what? Oh, kick in the head. I'm gonna fly. You can see what happens. Ugh. Oh, man. I don't know what to do. Well, you could just spear him out of midair. Here I come. Wee! You know, that's right. But, you only I only have two hands, so we can't really get all of it. You know, just put the camera right there. I know where he's flying from. Alright, fine. Just wanna put it right here. Right. It's annoying. 
right there. Know where he's coming from. We oh, great job! Not over the camera, Roman. You know what? Forget it. Just gonna give him a big old power bomb. Uh, oh my gosh, he's dead. Down for the count. No mercy. One, two, three. It's over. Sorry, dog. Roman, you win the first match. That's no, he doesn't. Oh, oh. Uh. To the next review. See who he faces next. But what is the next review? Oh yeah. I, oh, you should be asking that question. All right, fine. What's the next review? It's gonna be another Wolverine movie. Origins? No. Logan? Yes. Yes. My favorite movie of the year. Mine too. So that'll be our next review. And will you give us a hint on who Roman will be facing in the next review? Fine. He likes fire. That's all I'm going to say. Alright, I think I know what you're talking about. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment. We will see you next time. We are out of here.